Well, hello. Uh, it's a nice, crisp uh, November morning here, the day before Thanksgiving. And uh, what we're going to do right now is uh, do a walk around of my uh, Bighorn trailer, and I'll introduce you to it and uh, show you what I've got done so far. The brand of trailer that I have is uh, called a Bighorn trailer, and it's sold exclusively by Reed Trailer Sales out of Omaha, Nebraska. They also have a uh, a store in uh, Colorado Springs, I believe. But anyways, uh, let me go ahead and turn the camera directly on the trailer and I'll go ahead and explain to what we've got here. So the trailer is a seven by 16 and the 16 is measured uh, the square part and then it's got a two foot uh, V nose. And then I also had a six inch or eight inches extended on the tongue. Um, the construction of the trailer is uh, tubular, all tubular steel on 16 inch centers, that's the floor and the walls. The walls are 0 .040 um, thickness and uh, it looks pretty sharp with a two color scheme there. Up front here I have a, uh, a Sendville 9000 BTU mini split unit uh, that works uh, absolutely fantastic. Um, down below, I have two 20-gallon freshwater tanks, one between the wheels and one just forward of the wheels. And then up front, I have a 20-gallon waste gray uh, water tank, only gray water. And like I said, uh, I bought this from Reed Trailer Sales uh, in uh, Omaha, Nebraska. I put all the uh, windows in it. I just bought the basic trailer. Um, so I do have one emergency exit window there, and I have two windows in the back. Um, I put in 30 amp service. Of course, water access there. It's all uh, LED light lighting. All the exterior lighting is LED, and, and all the interior lighting. Uh, uh, so it is a, a ramp there, and uh, you can see. Um, let's get a close up here. Uh, the yellow is an air mattress on top of my queen size uh, motorized bed. Um, and we'll go inside and uh, see how that operates. Um, I do have two uh, floodlights uh, up there in the back for at nighttime when you're unloading. So let's walk around uh, to the front here. Got a large uh, RV style door. Let's go ahead and open this and come on inside. Okay, as far as sleeping accommodations, I have a queen size bed here. It's a full queen size width, uh, but it's called what's called an RV uh, short uh, in the lengthwise. Um, the linear actuators down below are rated at 200 pound capacity each, and I've got three of them. Uh, the tracks are rubber made shelving track, and the, uh, the wheels there are three inch heavy duty uh, garage door uh, rollers. Uh, you can't use the two inch because the axle will hit uh, the bracket there, so I had to go with the three inch. Um, operation, it is rather on the slow side, but uh, it is what it is, 12 millimeter per second. So we'll go ahead and put it in the full up position. And I built this trailer to primarily haul uh, a couple of motorcycles. So, for that function, it works great. Got plenty of room underneath the bed. This trailer is a, has a seven foot interior height. Uh, you'll notice in the back, I enclose the uh, spring for the door. Uh, it's kind of unsightly. Uh, the ceiling is a cedar strip, tongue and groove. All right, in the back, I wanted to be able to uh, lock the ramp door from the inside without putting locks on the outside. So with the lock flipped over like that on each side, uh, nobody can uh, open the door from the outside. And I don't have to lock the outside. So if I leave the latches off the outside, put these on, I can pop these loose and then open the door for an emergency exit. Uh, I'm six foot tall, so you can see that I have plenty of room underneath the bed when it's fully extended. Uh, water tank indicator so I can check out the uh, the level of my uh, water tanks, waste tank. 
Over here on this side, I have plenty of uh, storage space. I used a, built the cabinets with a shaker style. We've got the uh, European type hidden hinges that are soft close. So you can just slam them and they'll go ahead and shut on their own. Uh, I've got plenty of storage here, down below. <clears throat> this is a Progressive Dynamics uh, power converter. It's got four uh, 110 circuits and about 12 uh, 12 volt circuits. Over here, I've got uh, countertop, which is a solid oak, finished in polyurethane. I made this from um, stair treads I bought at Lowe's. And I went ahead and screwed and glued two pieces together to get the, the depth I needed. Over here, I have uh, switches for all the LED lights, um, USB charging, a uh, 12 volt plug, and I have a, the water pump put on a relay. Uh, this is a nice cutting board that was finished in mineral oil and wax. Uh, so it'll give you a little bit of extra counter space. Storage down below. Nice deep drawers. Uh, heavy duty construction. And soft close. Over in this area, I have a microwave and a instant propane water heater that works great. Uh, a simple shower, it's big enough for myself and my six foot son that weighs over 200 pounds. And uh, so I wanted to make it big enough that we didn't bang elbows. Um, as far as the floor goes, it's a cedar grate floor, soft on the feet, uh, it works great. And then over in this section here, I have more um, shelving space. As far as this uh, window here, this is an emergency exit window. And if you're not familiar with them, I'll show you how it works. You just flip uh, that lever right there, this lever right there, and the whole window opens up and you can crawl out. So if you need to get out in an emergency, uh, uh, there's a way to get out. For uh, refrigeration, I went ahead and, and uh, went with an ISCO 47 quart, 12 volt uh, refrigerator freezer, uh, and it does work pretty good. I froze some water bottles the other day with it. And I'm real happy. All uh, all steel construction. Uh, up above, I have a uh, fantastic fan, 10 speed, Senville. 9,000 BTU, this is the head unit uh, that works absolutely terrific. Um, no problems with that. It's practically silent. Um, you can't even hear it when it's running. As far as the outside here, I have a, a 110 volt uh, outlet right there. I have a LED light right there and on the front. And that's uh, operated by the dimmer switch uh, right inside the door there. I also forgot to mention, uh, Oh, the roof on this unit uh, is uh, one, one piece of aluminum, so there's no seams uh, on the roof except for the edges, of course, but as far as seams every four foot, like your typical trailer, it doesn't have that. It's all one, one run of uh, aluminum for the roof. For security, I've got this uh, Proven Locks uh, hitch lock. So they say that's uh, one of the best ones around, so <laughs> hopefully it'll keep my trailer safe. So that's it uh, for my big horn trailer. I'd have to say I'm very happy with the construction of it. Uh, the, uh, it, it was, it's excellent. Um, and I stripped it all the way down. Oh, I forgot to mention that the uh, interior, I stripped the whole interior out and I put uh, one and three quarter inches of solid blue foam uh, insulation uh, in the ceiling and in the walls. I don't have any in the floor, but the ceiling and walls are completely insulated.